Good morning dear students. Today we are going to learn about the early computing devices. You know that computers are very useful machines that helps us to do different types of things. They are used in homes, schools, offices, hospitals, banks and many other places. In fact, it becomes a very essential part of our daily life. As you can see, we can use this even in the time of the lockdown. In this blog, we will come to know about some of the popular computing devices, starting with the first two recent ones and how computers developed into the compact machines that we use every day. The history of computers being with the birth of Abacus, which is believed to be the first computer. It is said that Chinese invented Abacus around 4500 years ago. In those days, people worked with numbers when they bought or sold things such as cattle, grains and other things. The abacus helped them perform basic arithmetic operations. It is made up of wooden rack which has metal rods with beads mounted on them. It has two parts. The upper part is called heaven and the lower part of the abacus is called earth. The next early computing devices is called nefarious bones. It was a manually operated calculating device which was invented by John Nefair in early 1600s. In this calculating tool, he used nine different ivory strips and bones marked with numbers to multiply and divide. In order to use nefarious bone, a person needs to know only how to add and subtract. The next device we are going to talk about is called Pascaline. Pascaline is also known as arithmetic machine or adding machine. It was invented between 1642 and 1644 by a French mathematician and philosopher Blaise Pascal. It is believed to be the first mechanical and automatic calculator. It could only perform addition and subtraction. The next one is difference engine. In the early 1820s, it was designed by Charles Babbage, who is also known as the father of the computer. It was a mechanical computer which could perform simple calculations. It was a stream drive and calculating machine designed to solve tables of numbers like logarithm tables in mathematics. The next one is analytical engine. This calculating machine was also developed by Charles Babbage in 1830. It was a mechanical computer that used punch card as input. It was capable of solving any mathematical problem and storing information as a permanent memory. All the computers that we have discussed in the video were mechanical devices that did not run on electricity. By the second decade, of the 19th century, a number of ideas necessary for the invention of computer were in the air. In 1930, an engineer named Van Averbus at the MIT developed the first modern analog computer. It was called differential analyzer. It was an analog calculator that could be used to solve certain classes of differential equations. The first true computer was an electrical device. We will discuss more about this in our next classes. That's all for today class. Have a nice day.